Hi all, let's have a look at game 8 given to me by DeepMind recently as part of a set of 20 games. So Stockfish playing white on this occasion and Alpha Zero plays E5 and plays the Berlin defense. So that's what it eventually settled on as its favorite opening it seems with black. Knight takes E4, so we have the dreaded Berlin endgame scenario which is one of the reasons why modern grandmasters they often avoid e4 because it doesn't really give white that much this endgame scenario black has the bishop pair has inflicted some structural damage but it's thought to be really uh quite even overall swings and roundabouts of this position black having that bishop pair especially uh is a concern for white really being able to achieve an advantage so uh, these moves have all been seen before as well actually very theoretical here uh, we have bishop e3 bishop e7 now we're getting into fairly unique territory now after knight e2 h5 here c3 was played there are still uh, two or three stem games in chess based live book there was a correspondence game with f3 uh, which ended in a draw here uh, in an icf email 2013 game uh, and also rook d2 has been played before and that was in Giesen against Sassendenko again an ICS, ICCF email game uh, ending in uh, a win for black okay so c3 was chosen by stockfish 8 here and we have h4 so pushing on rook d2 and now the point is rook h5 to hit uh, e5 we have h3 now this pawn is immune at the moment because of bishop f4 and pressure on c7 uh, basically uh, so actually alpha zero pushes on this side a5 bishop e6 the bishops seem really super solid here uh, covering all key squares now f4 protecting the pawn a4 knight d4 and the bishop just drops back here and we see Stockfish committing to b4, which is a target for c5 potentially. Uh, and well, it is actually played now, c5 dissolving the pawns. So black has the bishop power without structural damage. Bishop e7, rook b1, b6, knight b4, bishop e6, knight c6. Now a3, so getting this advanced pawn, is that pawn going to be vulnerable at some point? No. We see king h2 on knight takes e7. King takes this position. Uh, should be fairly okay for black. It is opposite colored bishops as well. Uh, so we have king h2, f6, rookie one, and now f5 actually, giving white a seemingly, you know, potentially strong pawn in the center, but it's blockaded at the moment. Knight d4. Bishop drops back. Bishop f2 on e6. That might seem tempting, but black does have bishop a4. This position is actually okay for black. Black's actually got an advantage here. So uh, we see bishop f2, rook d8, and now c5. Which this is a, this is an interesting point now for me of the game. <laughs> a particularly interesting point is that the a3 pawn is kind of is not protected by c5 so it's encouraging this knight to win a3 and the key point here uh, <laughs> I have to say it seems to be that alpha zero is prepared to sacrifice this pawn to kind of get a form pawn on this side believe it or not uh, g5 is played now basically now so it's critical here does white want to take or just take this pawn off uh, if black had meekly defended with rook eight, uh, eight, it seems you know c4, for example, this position the knight can come to d5, uh, or the rook can come in. This this seems to be quite okay for white. So it's much more dynamic to do this kind of thing to sack the a3 pawn. So knight takes on f takes. Let's have a quick look. Bishop takes. It seems here uh, probably one of the strongest moves is rook a8 so checking other candidate moves here but this appears to be the strongest idea and the follow-up being like this to get the rook into a4 
check bishop c6 drop f5 intentionally to go into this end game uh, with the bishop pair and this with the threat of bishop b1 is dangerous for that a3 pawn so the a3 pawns eliminated but even so this end game transition uh, it ends up after even losing h4 it ends up though that black can regain the pawns and basically ends up with two connected pass pawns with the bishop pair black would have a big advantage here uh, black's in a much better position here basically to push those pawns with the bishop pair support so it it does seem as though uh, bishop sorry f takes g5 is not advisable but it leaves after taking here then we have a dynamic scenario and uh, g4 yeah threat thing g3 so actually black is getting this form pawn and I've been wondering more philosophically what, what is it about this I, I believe it just makes the positions much easier to play it's like I don't know if how many of you have seen uh, a classic film men in black uh, Will, Will Smith he, he moves the table to answer this tests everyone's struggling to sort of answer these test uh, questions uh, but he actually lifts up this rock table and then makes it much easier uh, so it's like maybe this kind of thing setting up the form pawn is is literally it's creating uh, a better position to set up opportunities to make things a lot easier basically and um, maybe that's what really makes it beyond uh, easy calculation uh, to do this kind of pawn sacrifice for this form pawn here it's very very interesting and we'll see now that black especially with the bishop pair has already kind of made things a bit easier as well so rook a8 knight z4 rook h6 so black playing a pawn down but with this major form pawn which is restrictive in many end games the rooks now okay protecting b6 out of necessity rook b2 again protecting b6 and now finally we can kick this knight b5 rook a4 and that hits f4 that's shielded with c4 that's taken knight d5 c3 and now rook c4 4 rook c6 this is getting behind the one pass pawn that black has and here alpha zero tries to simplify the position for that one pass pawn soon bishop d3 yeah it looks as though this is a strong position in general taking out a2 yeah it looks as though black uh yeah is getting the pawn back now so and has that strong c pawn we have c4 check bishop going to c3 rook b8 and uh yeah black's definitely got an advantage with the bishop power and and, and the c pawn so we see here actually in this position the game was actually adjudicated as a win believe it or not for black uh, it's actually winning this c pawn here in this particular uh, situation if it carried on say bishop c3 uh, we can try and lift that blockade of the c pawn uh, for example like this uh, eventually that blockade will be lifted this is just a, a fictional continuation where that c pawn crashes through basically with rook b1 after uh, so yeah in the game end position uh, it's actually very very difficult for black uh, for white to defend this with that c pawn okay i mean the king's the king is really quite restricted by by this form pawn as well so it's just uh, much easier for black to play and uh, use that pass pawn okay um pretty solid game uh, but the dynamic point for me was sacking a3 for the form pawn uh so and it's a, this this also shows uh further validation for this very ultra solid opening which has been putting off a lot of grandmasters playing even one e4 in recent times because it's just thought to be uh at least equal for black okay uh comments questions like shares appreciated uh, if you enjoyed this video um, you should see uh, a box top left chessbowl.net you can play against other youtubers and uh, 
Okay, see you on the next video. Thanks so much.